Hey Stampers and welcome to another card group and this month we are we were using the frame for you stamp set and I had it here and I misplaced it but here are the cards that we are are going to make so we can get started okay so the first one we're gonna do um, this is our very vanilla and we're just gonna fold that right directly in half And I'm just going to take a scratch piece of paper. And I'm using the Crush Curry. And I did not realize how much my stamp pads were not inked very well. So I was inking my stamp pads as I was doing the cards. So, and I'm just going to put them kind of all over. Okay, and then I've got the happy birthday. I've got so many stamps here. I'm just trying to keep them straight. Okay. So we got our happy birthday there. And then I've used Old Olive. And I've just taken a string or something on there. Just taken... Um, and kind of went in between them. Okay. And then I used crumb cake. And that's kind of with this one that just kind of, I don't know, I kind of actually think it looks like, um, um, like, bark or something it's just kind of I'm just kind of and I just stamped off a little bit because mine is a, that one stamp adds a little juice here and I kind of just stamped it on the flower or you can you know if you want to stamp it on the side do a little bit of different way you can too to kind of add and then I just took my early espresso marker and just put in the center there. It's kind of dark, or you could use um, Sierra Sand, not Sierra Sand, um, Soft Suede if you don't want it as dark. Okay, so. Just gonna take my adhesive and put onto the back of my early espresso, and I have some twine, and I always kind of take the twine and get it so that it's in half, and I'll put that right in the middle of the card, and then just wrap around the other way. And I just tied a knot. Just a cute, this is such a fun set. Um, I seen this set with some samples done on it, and I'm like, okay, I've gotta, I've gotta get this set, because I just love the, the samples and the possibilities. So I'm sure if I get tight there. And I'll just dip my twine off a little bit. And put that on um, to the back of the crushed curry. And put that on to the back of the berry vanilla. Okay, there is one card. Okay. Okay, so for my next one, now for this one, what I did is I took this stamp set, and what's really nice is um, okay. So for the layering squares, if you take this stamp set, and I don't know if I have the right size. Yep, 
Okay, so this would be like the perfect outside. So when I cut that out, I just did that. Now, if you wanted to cut the inside out, um, let's see if I grab the right one. Nope, I didn't grab the right one. Well, I'm not doing very good here. So anyway, if you grab like that one right there, that would cut out the inside perfectly. So that's kind of how to use um, your layering squares with it. So anyway, I stamped that and I cut out the outside of that. So I've got that. And let me get my colors together here. I seem like a missing one. Here it is. Okay. And this is um, Granny Apple Green. I had to think of that. I can't ever think of how to say that one. Okay, and just getting some of my stamps together here that I need. Okay, so for the first one, I just did the thinking of you, and I almost did it in the wrong color. And I did do the outside in the, um, you can do it in soft suede or you can do it in, um, I did early espresso. So, so I've got that. Then I just took the little pine. Okay, so I stamped once, then I stamped again right away. And then I just went to the other side and I just kind of reversed it so that they were like that. And then I just took my pine cones and I put right in the center. Okay. So then for my next one, what I did is this is my very vanilla. And I took again took one two then I took my there then I took them the other way your Tanner talking he's on the phone one two then I did two so it just kind of built it all the way up So there, and then do another one, and then just there. So I did a layering of that, and so then we're going to do, um, I'm missing a piece. Let me grab it here. Okay, so then I have a smaller piece that I am going to layer um, early espresso, and I put that on the back. So like that. And just put that right there. And I have a little bit of white there, and you could just trim that off too if you wanted to. So then we're going to layer that onto Early Espresso. And we're layering that onto Soft Suede. So like I said, if you wanted to use the Soft Suede with anything, we have that color in there too. So that is a really, um, it'll match perfectly. And then just fold that in half. And layer that onto layer that onto there. Okay, so that is your second card. Okay, so for the next one, 
we're using um, the Granny Apple Green and then Gorgeous Grape. So for this one, what I did is I took your cardstock and I folded it in half and I cut off an inch and a quarter. So that is already done on yours. And let's do our background first before we get started with anything. And that is the, um, the buffalo check. And I just used my gorgeous grape. So we're just gonna pat that all over that. And you can use any background stamp. And we're just gonna put that right on there. And just There, oh, a little crooked. Okay. So then, need another piece of scratch paper. Okay, so we've got this one here. There, we don't need that. We'll have this. So again, we've got our two colors there. And Oh, I was looking for my pieces I missed was lost okay so we're going to take first of all take our leaves and you know you could use um, the stemperatus and it would line up perfectly or I'm, I'm just kind of putting them right along here Okay, like that. Then I'm just going to take these and just kind of put them all over. Okay, there I got that. And then on our little tag, here's the circles. The circles are already cut out for you. And I'm just going to do sending hugs and kisses. Sending love and hugs. Obviously, I didn't read that very good, did I? Okay, so I just put that there. And then I'm going to go back and grab my vine and grab my flower okay so and then I'm just gonna shut up my stamp pad so I don't put my stuff in them and give my stuff a little bit of time to sit there and I've got ink on me of course Okay, so I'm going to just I'll just put my piece of right in the back there. So that, so like I said, when you close it, you've got that. And then this piece, I still have some of my old snail left over so I've been using that up and I still have the other one and I tell you that one sticks really really good so I've got that on there like that and I'm just gonna put this oh this one just don't want to come out very good put that on there like that I'm gonna grab a couple of dimensionals And your packets will be mailed out to you on the 20th. 20? 25th, I'm sorry. Okay, so we got that there. I don't know why I said the 20th, I'm sorry. 
Okay, so we're just going to take, this is our new ribbon from the new catalog, and it is so pretty. We're just going to do that, tie a bow. Oops, and just snip off my ends there. Take a glue dot. We're just going to put that right down there. So here are our cards. And you will, like I said, you'll get the pack on the 25th. I mail them out. So if you have any questions about anything, let me know. But again, this is the frame for you stamp set that I used. Um, thank you for watching and enjoy your cards. Thanks and have a great day.